What's up boys, it's Nate Dog Mac. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to take you guys through what I'm doing to be very efficient in my trading in the early access stages, the web app stages of FIFA 19. Um, doing these two things at the same time will allow you to maximize your coins and to keep pushing you forward because it's really easy in this access or this time of the game to just kind of hit like a stagnant point where you feel like, you know, I'm not making a lot of coins. I'm looking a lot of places on the market, trying a lot of different things, but I'm just not making very many coins. Um, and with this, you should be able to have a little bit trickling in while you're looking for some bigger snipes and some bigger flips at the same time. So basically what I'm doing right now is I found a couple players that have been working for me uh, in terms of being able to just mass bid on players and uh, sell them for like 200, 100 coin flips. So this Machis guy, left wing from um, Venezuela in the Calcio A, very base starter card, he's fast. And that's about it. Four star, four star. That's actually not too bad. Has okay shot power, good agility and balance. I uh, didn't really even look at his card stats, but he sells for about a thousand coins. And I mass bid on him at like 800, um, 750 to 800 coins. And I don't win a ton of them, but when I, I, I win a couple. So I won that one there for 800, and hopefully I can win another one here for 700. Um, same thing with Defrel. I was bidding on him for like 800 to 850 coins, selling for a thousand hit a bad streak here and that's the whole point of this you're not going to win every single card you're going to lose on some and you're not going to win a lot of bids so i won one out of seven bids right there one out of six bids which isn't the best but basically all you did on those cards was you didn't really think you knew their price range and you dropped down a bid and you were able to win a couple of them boom you go list them up make 200 300 coins a card um, per card and then I mean, that's a really easy way of making coins. A lot of people are doing that. But what you wanna do after you drop a bid, so I'm gonna go drop a bid on a couple more players here. Um, those 82s will probably go on bid for too much since they're 82 rated. Um, let me drop bid on somebody like this guy, right? Like Milik Radu, maybe? No, I'm looking for a 650 bid. So, Miete, I'll drop a 650 bid on him. He's French, so I don't know if it'll go through. This, this Coley guy, too. I'll drop a 700 bid on him. He's pretty fast. Has good physical. So we'll drop a 700 bid on him. So I dropped a couple more bids. In theory, you would want to do a little bit more. But then what you do, let's say you drop 10 bids on a player, or you find two players to bid on. Drop 10 bids, and they're five minutes out. You have to wait five minutes um, for those bids to end. What you want to do is go ahead and start getting familiar with the higher value cards on the market cards that you maybe are looking to invest in or just cards that you want to have in your future team that are maybe 83 84 85 rated um, depending on your price range you're going to want to look at different cards like right now i'm just over 100k so um, i have a pretty good range of where i can look at cards but let's say you're on 20k you should be looking at cards like i'm looking at right now with ebra um oh ebra's 8k he's going down a little bit um quadrado was 15k kingsley coman's 10k these are all cards that you could pick up on a snipe um and and flip them so let's say kingsley coman's going for 10k right now if one popped up for like 9k or lower i would probably pick it up try to flip it um another guy that was uh be good for a cheaper price range was Callum Wilson. There he is. He was going for around 4K. He might be a little higher. He is a little higher now. Wow. He's gone up as well. So Callum Wilson's going for about 5K. Um, and it's a it's a low rated gold card. So the people that are opening packs, he's going to be getting packed a lot. So you could just sit here for a couple minutes. 4,400. You could just sit here and try to snipe his card. And um, Regardless of how good you are at sniping, this is going to help you out. Boom, there's one Callum Wilson for 4,200 coins. Perfect timing. So I'm gonna list him up now for 40, we'll say 47, because that will be one of the lowest cards that was up. He was going for about 5K. That'll ensure a very quick sale. So boom, doing that. Now I can go back here, check on my transfer targets. And I I won one of them. I won the Miete and I did not win the Kali card. And Machis, somebody is paying a lot for that card that they don't need to. So I'm going to go look up his price since I don't actually know it. But ideally, you would want to know that person's price before you go and um, and bid on them. I just kind of bid it on that Miete card on a, win, on a whim. So he's probably going for like 800, oh, 900, 950 coins. I'll list mine for 1,000. 
um, and we should be able to make some decent coins there. So that's four, that's a solid flip on one card that I did win. So about 300, 400 coins. But uh, that's what you can keep doing. Find a player that it works with and just keep grinding because people are buying their starter teams. They're all down in this range of players looking at cards like this Machis, like that Miete. Um, Uth was one who was working for me earlier and Co, who's a striker from League One. Uh, there I sold a CEO and I sold that Callum Wilson right away too. So that's what you can do to kind of be doing two things at one time. It takes a little bit to find a player like a Miete, like a CEO. It takes a little bit to find a player like that that you can actually win bids on and you're not going to win all of them. Let's say you bid on 10 players that takes you 5 minutes out until the, all those bids expire. You might only win 3. But still, if you're making 100 coins a card for those three cards, that's 300 coins. Let's say you can make 700 coins or 500 coins like they, I did there on a snipe, and you're making 1,000 coins in just a couple minutes. So it's all about the repetitive of the small, small coin um, amounts, the small coin gains, 1,000 coins, 2,000 coins on a very good snipe, you know? Stuff like that, you repeat it over and over, um, and then... As we build up our coin totals, like I'm at 120k right now, I want to get to about 200k today. That would be perfect. Um, we can look at other things. We can look at trading with maybe some informs. Maybe um, start looking at a couple of our first investments that we want to make, although it is really early for that uh, to be happening right now. But I wanted to bring you guys this video just to show you how to be the most efficient. Uh, doing the small cards, the bidding, and also trying to catch the snipes, doing them at the same time, just going back and forth from the transfer market to your transfer targets, then to your transfer list, is a really good way to keep things moving on Ultimate Team and not just stay stagnant in one spot looking to snipe players. So the more things you can be doing, obviously the better. I haven't played any games yet, I need to do that. If you have the thousand coin boost that you've unlocked from the EAFC catalog, um, make sure you do that. I need to get into some squad battles so that I can build up some rewards for myself that way but boys thank you so much for watching the video thanks for the support lately lately on the youtube videos i'm hitting 500 views on an ea access video like that is freaking nuts thank you guys so much really appreciate it smash the like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more i'm looking at doing lots of videos coming up here about what i'm going to be investing in how i'm trading and looking ahead to other events in fifa ultimate team all right boys thanks again it's been nate dog mac i'll catch you guys later peace